With so many opportunities to become better versions of ourselves online, chances are you've told a few lies on Facebook or Instagram. So today in this video, we focus on seven social media lies everyone has been guilty of telling at some point. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and drop a like for daily injections of review videos and more in your timeline. At number one, lying about your accomplishments. Everyone wishes that someone was proud or envious of them. However, the desire for others to see your triumphs and accomplishments as outstanding has fostered a culture of faking or inflating them, particularly on social media. According to Mike Brand, CEO of Thrill Appeal, this is something he sees all too often because individuals want to be recognized. For example, a slacker coworker who was transferred to another position because they weren't performing well in their previous one can go online and claim they received a promotion so that people see the change positively rather than negatively. Number two, exaggerating the highlights of your travels. Of course, that photo in front of the Eiffel Tower and perfectly timed picture of an ocean wave are beautiful, but they don't show the ins and outs of your travels. They don't show you racing to your gate, almost missing your flight. They don't show you grumpy and jet-lagged, unable to leave your mediocre hotel room. But when vacationing, people only show the best parts of their trip. At number three, pretending to be in better financial standing than you are. Whether it's the flash of dollar bills on a video screen or showing off things online that you can't actually afford, people are always trying to make themselves seem richer than they are. Having designer items means you have money, so you post a photo of a designer bag from the store instead of actually purchasing it, but no one has to know that. Even the phenomenon of people posing in front of luxury cars that aren't actually theirs is an example of this. It's all about seeming like you have wealth. At number four, lying about your fitness regimen. People will always lie about their workouts. Many fitness professionals or junkies actually have workout disorders or body disorders. But do they showcase that reality online? Not quite. Instead, they showcase the physical and speak to their success and achievements, but don't touch on much more than the physical and brands they co-promote. This, in return, causes people to unhealthily compare themselves to fitness goals that may be unrealistic because it's what they see being promoted online. Number five, misrepresenting the realities of parenthood. Your followers may think your children are perfect little angels if that's all you show about them online. But the realities of parenting are far more complicated than that. In fact, parents who are obsessed with social media actually pass unhealthy complexes onto their children. Parenting becomes a competition and children try to keep up with their parents' ambitions, she wrote. These issues of affirmation and competition percolate to children who feel invested in their performative capacities, aspiring to be perfect kids. Number six, pretending to always be happy. An overwhelming 73% of students surveyed said they always try to appear positive and happy with anything attached to their real names. Whether it's posting an old smiling selfie when you're actually in bed crying or tweeting about how hashtag blessed you are when you're struggling mentally and emotionally. It's clear life isn't always what it seems on social media. Lastly, pretending to be in a happy, healthy relationship. Based solely on social media, everyone's relationship is basically a well-directed romantic comedy. But people who turn to Facebook or Instagram to boast about their romance more often than not are actually hiding something. Spoiler alert, their relationship probably isn't really that great. In a 2018 survey from Relationship Counseling Organization, more than half of millennials, 51%, admitted to making their relationship seem happier online than it really is, and 42% worked to carefully craft a perfect relationship online. In reality though, all of these couples are having disagreements behind the screen. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Of all the lies you have seen on social media, which ones have you ever told? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.